Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Billy Truder. welcome back to Not For Broadcast, the newsroom editing suite simulator thing, which I love it. I absolutely love this thing. It's going to be one of my top games of the year. It's been fantastic so far. Unfortunately, yeah, what you're editing is uh, footage of actors and uh, they're releasing it bit by bit through updates and it's kind of difficult to get a bunch of actors together when there's a pandemic on. So. I feel really sorry for these guys, but they've been doing an amazing job updating it regardless. So the full next bit of the story story, with like the political party that's just taken over and whatever, that's still coming up soon, but they've been releasing little bonus extras. There was lockdown a couple of months ago, if I recall correctly, about how, yes, the lockdown in this universe is due to insane toys going mad and killing everyone, though possibly that was just a fever dream of the player character, because you sort of like wake up at the end of it. So I'm not sure whether that really happens. And today we're going to be looking at the Talathon, which by the looks of the trailer is going to be a very old school black and white dealie. Now, uh, this is going to be an interesting one for me to edit because uh, we haven't really had telethons in the UK for like decades. I don't really know what they're supposed to look like. So, uh, okay, this is going to be good. Okay, just a quick reminder, because once we get going, things are going to be happening fast. The basic thing you need to do is make sure you're looking at the right thing. You know, you're not seeing anyone behind the scenes or anything like that. Focus on the person who's talking, but not for too long, otherwise things are going to go wrong. You can hear what's happening, you know, live on the left screen versus what's been broadcast in a few second delays on the right. So you're going to be wanting to, you know, have both of them playing, making sure that you censor live if somebody says a naughty word. There also might be, you know, a bit of interference coming in. Make sure you deal with that. Potentially plug in some tapes. If music plays, make sure you're moving the camera in time with the music. You might need to pick which image goes with a new segment. Over here, the power might go completely to hell and people might occasionally, like, you know, call you up for various reasons. So basically, stuff's gonna happen. I need to make the news look good. Got it? Okay, let's go. Oh, apparently there's gonna be creepy puppets as well. So that's good. I'm looking forward to incredibly creepy puppets. That's, that's just gonna be marvelous. Day 56, the telethon. So, okay, possibly this one might sort of like, you know, fit into a uh, actual continuity. So, uh, all right then, what the flip's going on here, my friends? Alex Winston, it's Bozeman here, your boss. It's come to my attention that you've replaced Dave in the control room, and your performance so far has been mostly adequate. However, I'll need to observe myself to check you're up to snuff. And to that end, you'll now be mixing an old recorded broadcast to ensure you can do the job to my satisfaction. Don't worry, other than the odd tear and jump in the footage due to age, it shouldn't require you to deal with anything new. Though do keep an eye on the sensor. They had stricter sensibilities in those days. And of course, don't forget to load the adverts. One step ahead of ya. Okay, so, adverts loaded, 21 seconds. And we've got ourselves, uh, right, something to do with, uh, yes, problems, potentially problems with censorship. We're live in 10 seconds. Uh, all right, I'll keep looking for someone. I guess we'll just have to wing it until uh, then. Can you count us in? Wait, sure. who am I supposed to be focusing on? Going live in five, four, three, two, one. Live from the capital, it's the St Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. And please welcome your host, it's the Dreamboat, Graham Bannon. Hello, it only is. Hello, it's Mr Bannon. Got one of them. Got one of them. Good night. If you won't be my lady, lady, then at least have my babies, babies. No, don't give me a maybe, maybe, no. I know what women are like. I, 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 sorry, I, I know I'm supposed to be... Sorry, stop the music, stop the music. Yeah, I know, I know I'm supposed to be starting the show, but I can't help but notice... I mean, where's the audience? Sorry? I mean, who are you? Sorry? I mean, this is an absolute nightmare. Isn't it really? I mean, this is an absolute nightmare. Are we alive? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first annual St Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. I'm your host, Graham Bannon, and it is an absolute pleasure to be here. We are here tonight, as we may be aware, for one very important cause. And that is, of course, little Sally Button. Little Sally Button has a life-threatening condition, and she will die tonight. 
unless we can raise enough funds to cure her of her studio, studio, hypo, um, studio, I should learn that, studio, studio, hypo, poo, 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 I don't know how to say that word, but what I do know is it's a long word and a bad disease. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to raise 20 grand tonight and we can't do it without your help. And how can I help you screaming at home? Well, don't scream and I'll tell you. We're taking donations starting right now. But let's beat feet and head over to the blowers. Uh, the phones, not the girls. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Good evening, Graham. Tell you something, ladies. Uh, those are some classy chassis, if you don't mind me saying so. Classy chassis, if you don't mind me saying so. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, so, girls, um, would one of you kitty cats please let the viewers at home know exactly why you're here this evening? Yes, sir. Uh, us kitty cats will be taking calls from across the country to raise money for this little girl. If you would like to donate, no matter how large or small, please ring now. I'll tell you, I'll be giving you a ring later. An engagement ring if you play your cards right. An engagement ring if you play your cards right. Now that was a zinger. If I do a, if I do a zing, I play the sound. Yeah, that's it. I'll check in with you later. It's time to have a look at how much money we're starting off with tonight. Using state-of-the-art technology that we can track up to the second exactly how much money's been raised from your donations. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, look, let's have a look at how much we're starting off with tonight. OK, looks like we're not starting off with any money tonight. It's a bit strange. I'm surprised they didn't put something in, just to show, really. But um, perhaps it's a little unclear of how you donate still. Um, how about I cut the gas and show you what's what, Daddy O's? Uh, give me the thing. OK, so I'll pretend to be you at home. This is role play. You really can do this in real life from your sofa or couch. It's ringing. Uh, it's ringing. Hello, who am I speaking to, please? Hello, you're speaking to Barbara at the phone desk. Hello, Barbara at the phone desk. You have a beautiful voice. Barbara the phone desk. You have a beautiful voice. OK. Uh, I'd like to donate a tenner, please. Okay. I'm finding it hard to hear you. Your phone doesn't actually work. You're going to have to be louder. I'd like to donate a tenner, please. Like Thank you, sir. What a generous donation. May I ask who's calling? You don't have to do that, do you? You know, you know who's calling, don't you? It's Graham Bannon. And how do you spell Bannon? Don't say that. People would know how to say my name. Don't say that. People would know how to say my name. There we go. And so we, if, I, if I'm correct, there should be 10 on it now. Look at that. Technology at its finest. 10 on it now. So only 19,990 remaining, which should be a Bannon breeze. Am I supposed to be playing the noise? He wants he wants a noise. Okay, that happened by itself. I don't play the noise. Let's have a rundown of the jam-packed acts we have lined up for you. On this jam-packed lineup, on this jam-packed evening. Who wrote that? Too many things packed in jam. Too many things packed in jam. Starting off tonight, we have the incredible Raj and Rishik. Following that, we have an amazing acrobat who will do a, jumps all over the stage and stuff. And then finally, we'll have the lovely legs contest to end act one, which I'm rather looking forward to myself, ladies. Then, starting Act 2, we're going to have a magician who will do all magic and that. Then we're going to have a fire-breathing man who will be breathing fire. And then ending Act 2, we're going to have a daredevil who will dive into a bucket of water. All right. Then, going into Act 3, we're going to have the unicyclist act. Then, following that, the strongest man in the world, the strong man. And then, finally, the grand finale. Now, for the grand finale, we asked little Sally Button what she wanted more than anything else in the world. And she had a very simple reply. I'd like a dancing chimpanzee, please, Graham. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have managed to source a dancing chimpanzee for the finale of this show. How does that sound? <laughs> There's no one here, is there? OK, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our first act of the evening. He's come all the way from India for this event. And let's just say he might have brought a little friend <laughs> along with him. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please, welcome to the stage is the incredible Raj and Rishi. <laughs> Uh oh, where is he? Where is he going to be? As I said, it's, uh, it is Raj and Rishik. <laughs> to the stage.
I mean, this is a nightmare. I mean, what is going on? I mean, is there, this, isn't, this isn't working, is it? I mean, is there anyone around here who knows that you? Come here, come here, come here, come here. What is going on? What is going on? Do you know what I'm saying at all? Why is he here? You, you, come here, come here, come here. This is unbelievable. Hello, Mr. Bannon. Hello, yes, come here. Are you the, you the producer, are you? Yes, no, I, I, I'm nobody, me. I, I just help the fellas unload the cameras. Right, from fantastic, the band. great story. Um, so, uh, do you know where the producer is? Uh, well, do you know where the producer is? That's the problem. Get on with it, come on. But... Well, it, it turns out, you know, all the roads around the capital are shut down because. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it turns out uh, the producer, the director, most of the acts, and also. All of the audience are on the same bus heading oh, in, and now they're stuck somewhere near Jamstable. Are you seriously telling me there's no one else around here who can sort this mess out? He's pretty good at organising. No, well, no, obviously not. That's not going to work, is it? Look at you. You're the producer now. Well done, that's great. Big promotion for you. Now, what you need to do is go away and find me a version of all the acts I've just promised the people at home. That's not really my thing, Governor. Well, do you know what? It is your thing now, Governor. Right, or a child drops down dead. So off you go. Go do that. Quick, smart. All right, uh, you can count on me. Okay, very good. You can count on me. Okay, very good. Go away! Go away! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the first act of the evening. He's come all the way from India. I've read that. Don't repeat the same stuff. I've read that. Don't repeat the same stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's... They're not here, are they? No, they are here. Well, why didn't they come out the first... Ladies and gentlemen, it's Raj and Rishik. Oh, do we actually have an act? Do we have an act? Wait, which act was this? Hello everyone, my name is Raj and you might be asked uh, Rishi. So here he is. Uh, what's your name? Rishik. And what do you do? I'm working in banking. Oh, he's terrible at yes, ventriloquism. Okay, we've got a cover for that. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay, you have anything else to say? Okay, no. To say? no. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your honesty. Have, have you finished? Am I finished? finished? Yes, yes, I'm finished. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Rob and Richard, <laughs> give the sound applause. We don't have any more news. That was okay. amazing. Well, fan f fantastic, I think. Uh, so, well done, Raj. Um, so, I know a little birdie told me you travelled in all the way from India just for this event. No, we cycled here. Oh. Uh, Rishik was cycling and I was sitting in the basket. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, now they laugh. Yeah, now they laugh. Um, uh, great joke, great joke. Um, so, uh, is he a good cyclist, is he, Rishik? Uh, is he a good cyclist, is he, Rishik? Why are you asking me? You can ask him. I'll ask him. Okay, that's setting something up. Okay, uh, uh, Rishik, are you a good cyclist, mate? Why are you talking to him? He's only puppet. Don't set a joke up with that if you're not going to follow it through. That ruins it, doesn't it? <laughs> you farted. <laughs> Graham farted. I didn't fart. I didn't fart. <laughs> he made the sound out of his mouth. Did he make the... <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> OK? Yes, you should be disappointed. Get off the stage. Yes, you should be disappointed. Get off the stage. What a load of crap! We've had two. I didn't fall. Yeah. Acrobat's not here. Great. But well, uh, I've got an alternative. Okay. His name's James. Sounds good. He's not an acrobat. Sounds good to me. Bring him on. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going to happen now, but please welcome to the stage. It's the incredible. It is James. Come on, James. I believe in you. It's going to be amazing. Hello. Hello. Oh, I, I was just walking past the theatre when that guy came up to me and said, hello, we've got the perfect job for you. All you have to do is stand on stage, we'll pay you. It's something like that. Tell you what, I'll level with you here, James. We were expecting an acrobatic act now. Oh, right. Damn. Yes, 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 damn indeed, damn indeed. Um, uh, tell me, James, can you do acrobatics by any chance? No, I, I can't, no, I haven't since school. That'll be fine. You remember a lot from school. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, this acrobat James will now perform for you a series of double backflips. There's no way I can do that. Oh, well, I'll do some cartwheels. Uh, hey, I'm not going to do any cartwheels. But here's a job for you instead. Sweeping up the corpse of a dead girl. Sweeping up the corpse of a dead girl. 
Start the music, please. Come on. And that's the act. Absolutely marvellous. Sort this out. Where is it? Sort that out. Um, absolutely marvellous. Well done there. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of James in the future. Good job there. Well done. You really... That really worked out well. Worked out a treat. Yes, get off the stage. We've had two absolutely marvellous acts this evening, so I think it's time to have a look at what impact that's made on the old fundraiser. So, drum roll, please! OK, looks like we still haven't made any money at all. That's a bit surprising. Um, perhaps I'll check in with the bombshells to find out exactly what's going... What are you doing there? Get out! Sling your rook! Go on, go! You're upsetting the girls. Ladies. I was expecting a little money in the old pot by now, ladies. Uh, have the callers not been particularly generous so far? We haven't had any callers so far. Are you serious? How dare you? How dare you? A child is quite literally dying somewhere out there, and you're too lazy to get up off your asses. Go over to those phones we have, turn the dials, and pledge money to save her life. You greedy bastards. Sorry, Graeme. Just found out the phone lines haven't been connected yet. All right. Yeah, Young forgot to do it. It was Young. Oh, that idea, right. Come on, Young. Got just a job for you. I'll give him an hand. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I can offer only my greatest apologies. My outburst just now was directed at you, when it should, of course, have been directed at Yong. Please accept those apologies. Now it's time for the Lovely Legs Contest. What better way to end tonight's programme, the first part of tonight's programme, than with a display of beauty and talent? I don't want to talk to him, you ask him. So for your viewing pleasure, these 10 out of 10s will be modelling the latest in fashionable swimwear. Graham? Uh, not now, love. I'm speaking to camera. Graham Donna's not here. So what? Well, we need four of us for the routine, so let's... Well, do the routine with three of you. I'll do it with three. Well... Does anyone else around here know it? Does anyone else around here know it? Well, he was watching us rehearse earlier. Oh, was he? That's very interesting. Little pervert. Tell you what, slap a costume on and stick him at the back. That'll teach him. He doesn't know what's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was told... Phones are fixed. Great, sit down and take calls. When I was told that I'd be judging the best legs out of a group of young, attractive women, I said, where do I sign? <laughs> well, I did sign, and that time is now. The time to look at women and judge them. Ladies and gentlemen, the first lovely lady to the stage is Barbara. <laughs> Now, Barbara plays for the local women's amateur football team. So she can quite often be seen getting down and dirty of a Sunday lunchtime. I think it's fair to say this girl has seen more than her fair share of tackles. <laughs> Linda's up next. Linda is an avid gardener, and she can quite often be seen on a balmy summer's evening, tending to her petunias and uh, trimming a bush. <laughs> Deborah's up next. Deborah's a socialite, and Deborah likes nothing more than a nice night in the pub with the girls. Glugity glug glug glug. <laughs> but I tell you, forget the pub. Nice legs, love. What time do they open? It's just a bit of fun. And then finally, we have Donna. I mean, Yong, who's taking uh, who's taking over Donna. Now, Don. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, that's really unpleasant, that isn't it? Uh, I'm not cutting away from this. I wish I hadn't suggested it now. He hasn't shaved. I mean, he knows the routine, but um, he has, doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, Christ. Okay, um... Do I have a zoom function? I'd like to zoom in. I mean, this is, this is appalling, isn't it? Can, can, we, can we do this? I, I think we have to stop the music, actually. I, I, I don't think I can let this go on, to be honest. It's quite, quite, quite unpleasant. Um, why is he still doing that? Stop him dancing! Yeah, yeah. I'm angry now. I'm angry now. 
He's made all of you look bad, hasn't he? Look at him. He's pleased with himself, it looks like to me. He makes all of you look bad when he's standing there looking like that, doesn't he? Absolutely pointless. I'll tell you what else. It's pointless anyway, because obviously Deborah's got the best legs. Knew that going in. Do you know what? Just take him off the stage. It's, it, it, I'm angry. I'll tell you, if there was an audience, they'd be a booing you, Yong. They'd be a booing. He's wrong. I'd vote for Yong. Just give me the number, I'll call in and vote for Yong. And that seems to me like the perfect place to end Act 1 on a bit of a high. So I'll tell you what, why don't you grab a, grab a drink, sit back, enjoy the adverts, and we'll see you after this. What are you doing? I'm setting up for the Act 2. I haven't finished talking! After the adverts, we'll see you back then. <laughs> OK. One minute back. Ah, what a beautiful day. The sun outside is shining and Susan is in the kitchen, of course, cleaning up after preparing supper for her husband, who will be coming home any minute. But what's this? Susan, you silly moo. Why are you crying, you dozy tart? I've had enough. I've been trying to clean up this chicken grease all day with my usual brand of cleaning product, but it just won't come off. Oh dear, here comes your husband. I hope you've thought of something. Honey, I'm home! That chicken looks delicious, and this chicken looks even nicer. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention, her husband is me, Dick Johnson. Lucky lady. What's with all this grease? This surface is filthy. I'm sorry, darling. I've tried every cleaning product available, but I just can't solve these stubborn stains. Well, you haven't looked hard enough. Because there's new Jazz. Jazz is proven by scientists to clean all of a surface, up to 100% cleaned. Look at the way it cuts through this grease. Wowzers. It is also completely harmless to skin, due to it being 99% lead-based. Thank you, darling. I don't know what I would have done without you. Christ knows. But now the kitchen's clean, let's not talk anymore. New jazz. So simple, even a woman could use it. All right, time to put the things back to where they should be. And we're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the St Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. Here's Graham Bannon. Oh, we got another musical bet. What is going on? What is going on? I've to clear these boxes up. It looks a mess, doesn't it? We all end up looking like idiots, don't we? My talents are wasted here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to St Fanny's Hospital's annual TV fundraiser for dying children. It's nice to be back. As a reminder, little Sally Button is still dying, but with your donations, she may yet live. Let's have a little look about how much money has been raised while the adverts have been playing. Ooh, we've actually made money! Marvellous! Actual money! That's brilliant! We've made a hundred girls! That's amazing! Yes, very good. And who do we have to thank her for these donations? One very generous donor, actually. Fantastic. Well, tell me their names so I can thank them live on national television. I don't actually know his name. It's annoying. I thought we told you to take the names when you uh, answer the phones. It wasn't over the phone. It was, um, it was him, the, the guy, the new producer. He gave the money. Right. So uh, we haven't had any calls. The phones still aren't working. No, the phones are working. And we have had a few calls, but none of them wanted to donate. It was mainly complaints against you. What do you mean, complaints against me? Well, I think people think that you're a bit rude. Fudge on! Sorry for that swear, will you? Censor that if you want. A bit rude? People think I'm a bit rude? I played that! After all I've done and continue to do, people think I'm like, this has blown my mind. OK, ladies and gentlemen, magic has always been rude. I'll give them rude. 
Here's the magic hat. Nightmare. Oh, it's Raj again. Raj is back. Yay, Raj. Hello, everyone. I am the magician, the great Bamboojal. For the third magic trick, I will need two beautiful ladies' assistant. Oh, Raj, you charmer. And I will also need a volunteer from the audience. Oh, no one is here. Yeah, I know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. You know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. Just go and do it. Thank you, sir. Uh, in this trick, you will be sent to the another world, beautiful world. And for this magic trick to work, you need to go behind the sheet. Do I have to do this? Please pull the sheet up. Uh, now I'm going to say the magic word. Alakazam, alakazoom. And uh, now you can drop the sheet for big reveal. He's not here. Yeah. Okay, the magic of editing. And you can take the sheet. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I am not happy. I'm not happy at all. I don't know if it's clear what happened there. I think it is. That's Raj. I'm not Raj, I'm the great bamboozle. Right, well that's not true, is it? There's lots of surprises, lots of... Get off the stage, get off the stage right now. Don't play that sound! And then finally, what I and dying child Sally Button have been waiting for, it's the, the chimp dancing finale. Sorry, Graham, Graham, sorry. I don't think we should say there's going to be a chimpanzee. It's stuck on another bus. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm only going to say this once, mate. If you don't manage to source a dancing chimpanzee, and it has to be a chimp, not an orangutan, for the end of this show, I am certain that the shock, disappointment and fear on that little girl's face will cause her to just die like sometimes children do. And that will be entirely your blimmin' fault. Graham. Of course, I care about Susie Button, who you've been calling Sally Button all evening. But I, I'm not—I'm not a producer. I—I I, I don't know the first thing about booking dancing chimpanzees. I can try my best. That's it. I, that is as good as I will get a dancing chimpanzee, Graham. Now you're here. What can we expect next? I assume it'll be the fire-breathing man or something incredibly similar. No, he's on the bus. But, but we've got something better. What's that? It's a group of teenagers from the Scritchford Dance Club. Right. That doesn't sound better to me than a fire-breathing man, but I suppose it's the best we've got. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to stage. It's the dance. It's this. this. All right, we got some teenagers. Is this oh, yeah. another musical number? Are we ready for the music? And oh, it is. Okay. Not bad at all. 
Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Really, really rather good, that. Um, I'll tell you what, though, you little ankle biters. Uh, here is a weekday. Shouldn't you not be in school? Oh, get Ben. I will not get Ben. I will not get Ben. Get out of here. I won't get Ben. I won't get, I won't get Ben for anyone. Bastards. Drum roll, please. Oh, and do we have money? What? What? Wait, that carries on. Look at that. It's still going, but five grand. There's at least five grand. Girls, this is incredible. Uh, actually, we haven't made that amount yet. That five's supposed to be a two. I think he's made a mistake. What do you mean, he's made a mistake? Who's he's made a mistake? Who's moving that machine? What? It's you! It's, it's you! It's a... This is... I am so angry! I thought that this still moving! I thought that this was a brilliant state-of-the-art machine. But it isn't. It's just you sitting behind this, moving those boxes. You should be ashamed of yourself, you should be ashamed of yourself, Good news though, uh, we've now raised two grand for little Sally Button, so we're a tenth of the way to our target. Absolutely fantastic. So now we're heading towards the end of the second act. Stop talking. The end of the second act. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure um, James, the acrobat from earlier, will dive into that bucket of water now. No, I won't fudging dive into that bucket of water. A swear word there. Apologies for that. Hopefully they'll sort that out. No, fudge that. I just went to get my money, and he told me that you said I shouldn't get any money. Where's my money, Graham? Well, what's happened there is that he's lying. He's not lying. That guy is the only one who gives a crap what is going to happen to that girl. You, Graham, are a drip. How dare you? I'm trying to save a kid's life here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just learned backstage that half of the 20 grand being raised here tonight is going directly to Graham Bannon as a performance fee. What do you think of that, people at home? It's a fudging disgrace. I think, ladies and gentlemen, right now, live on stage, Graham should agree to donate his entire fee to Susie Button's family. How about it, Graham? How much you actually care about Susie's life? Ah, that's a difficult one. Um, now, of course, I care about the life of the child, but I'm also pretty sure that the viewers at home want the talent to get paid fairly for their work. Actually, I have someone on the phone right now that says they don't want you to make any money from this. Yes, me too. I'm hearing Graham's a dog. Graham's selfish. Graham's cruising for a bruising. Yes, basically, all my callers are saying Graham's a twat. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have decided off my own back to half my fee. 5,000 for the dying child and 5,000 for Graham Bannon. Nope, that's baloney. Graham, if you care and don't want people at home to think you're spineless, you'll give it all to Susie. You'll give it all to Susie. Hmm. You know, Acrobat James, there comes a time in a man's life when he has to decide what sort of a man he wants to be. Are you going to donate the money? Yeah, I was just doing a speech about that. Yes. Well done. So that should bring the tally up by 10,000. Plus, I'm happy to donate the fee they offered me of 150. You offered 150 for falling on your ass. So I make that to be 12,155. Young, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, great. Hold on, Young. OK, well, thanks so much for that helpful contribution there, James. I assume you'll now be getting into some lycra and diving into that bucket. No, I'm done. I'm going home. Thank you. No, you're not. Get in the bucket. Get in the bucket. Someone grab him. Put him in this bucket. We need someone to go in this bucket for the end of the act. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, found somebody. Yes, yeah. This is a nightmare. Oh, here he is. Right, great. OK, so now, ladies and gentlemen, viewing pleasure, this knucklehead will now dive off of this ladder into this bucket of water. Come on. Off you go. That's good. Great. Now, in the bucket. Great, right, oh, uh, <laughs> that's not tall enough. There's no water in the bucket. I don't care. I don't care. He breaks his neck. Come on, get in. I don't care. He breaks his neck. Come on. Come on. Young. You need to go in there. Young, just pretend. Get in that bucket. Come on. Just, don't get shoot, in that don't bucket. The ladder, Graham. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go. He's ruined that, hasn't he? What a shame. <laughs> oh, that's the end of Act Two. We'll see you back after the adverts. Fantastic.
Back in one minute. And over to the ads. Unfortunately, there's, there's some problems hey, over on the uh, on the set. Are you joking? I wouldn't date you if you're the last man on earth. Oh dear, Johnny. How did that make you feel? I feel like a chicken head. I ain't never gonna get abroad like that. Say, what are you smoking there, Johnny? What, this? It's just my regular brand of cigarette. Ain't nothing special. You're telling me you don't smoke lion cigarettes? Well, how could I? I never heard of lion cigarettes. How would you like to try one? Well, why bother? The taste of lion cigarettes can't be that different from my regular brand. You're talking crap, Johnny. Lion cigarettes are proven by medical science, too. Make you up to 51% more intelligent. Make you 70% more attractive to women or homosexual men. And finally, make you fitter and healthier. You might have heard that cigarettes give you cancer. Well, not lion cigarettes. In fact, they'll decrease your chances by 100%. Give it a try, guy. Hold on. Something's happening. Whoa. One smoke of a lion's cigarette and I feel like a new man. Hey, hot stuff. Are you coming to bed? Don't mind me, champ. You run along now. Lion cigarettes, they'll make you sexually attractive, even if you're not. Oh, we've still got uh, we've still got some problems on the set then, got it. And we're going live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the St Fanny's Hospital's TV fundraiser for dying children. Graham Bannon is still here. the music. If there's no audience, Graham Bannon doesn't dance. Hello and welcome to the third part of the St Fanny's Hospital's annual... T well, it's not annual. They're not going to do another one, are they? TV fundraiser for dying children. Uh, and dying national television, it seems. And, you know, speaking of dying, uh, is the child still dying? I'm pretty sure it is. And they're uh, looking at that. No more money has been raised while the advert's have been playing. Um, so it looks like, to me, you continuing to do F all at home. There's two reasons for that. Hello. One, we don't have anybody in the phones. They're all backstage looking after Young. Who you pushed off the ladder. Pretty sure he fell. And ah. secondly, we don't have the guy who changes the counter anymore. You pushed him off the ladder. Tell you what, do I have to do everything? You go back there, grab Young, bring her back in, put him over there, grab the girls, put them on the table. Then they can all do their stuff. Young can sit there twiddling his boxes. Graham, he's only just woken up and his neck might be broken. Doesn't have to move his neck. Look, my neck stays perfectly still. Go and get him. I mean, that is unless you don't care about Sally Button. I mean, I assume you'll be donating your fee too. Yeah, I was the first to do it, Graham, about 20 minutes ago. Get off and get them. No more long speeches. Bloody northerners. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, this is still happening. And we are still live, taking your donations, if you can be bothered, if you want a girl to live, mm -hmm. up to you. Ah, oh, look, the girls are back. What a sight for sore eyes. In fact, talking of sore eyes, went to my opticians the other day, and guess who I bumped into there? Absolutely everybody, because I couldn't see. <laughs> they got a laugh, haven't you, girls? You're a pig. All right, so let's have another act. Any more acts? Anyone who's not stuck on a fudging bus or something? Oh, look, the stripper's arrived. Oh, God. Keep him over there. OK, right, we need something else now, don't, don't we? We need an act or something. Uh, uh, girls, any callers we can put through? Actually, I have someone on the phone right now you might like to speak to. Absolutely fantastic. Put them through. And on top of that, he's been rather horrible to that little boy. She sounds about 100. L uh, hello there, and welcome to, uh, th th welcome to the show. Uh, uh, what's your name, please? Who's that? It's Graham Bannon. You're horrible. Why has she been put through? Don't put one through to think I'm horrible, obviously. That might be a bit difficult. This is so crazy that the, everything I've done for all these people, I'm they still... still... Here. Why is she still there? Cut her off! We're not putting any more through. We're having another act. Hello? There's a... Who is that? <laughs> Stop putting through! <laughs> uh, hey, I'd like to donate a tunnel, please. Aha. We have a serious gentleman on now. Hello, sir. Did you say you'd like to donate a tenner? Hey, that's right. I'd like to donate a tenner. A tenner to the fund to stop Graham Bannon being on TV, huh? No, 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 don't play the laugh sound! It wasn't funny! Oh, so you think you could do better, do you? Hey, that's right. OK. The stage is yours. Go on, tell a joke. Tell a wee joke. All right, I'll do the wee joke. 
How many Graham Barnum does it take to screw in the light bulb? I'm not going to like this. That depends on the fee. No! The joke was horrible! The joke was horrible! No! We're not having horrible jokes. We're not doing any more of that. We're not having any more callers. I think they're stupid and also they seem drunk to me. Right, what's next? We need another act. Where's the next act? We have sorted the monkey problem. This is brilliant! This is brilliant news, Raj. Bring it on! Uh, he's very shy. That's fine! That's fine, we can be, we, we, we get fine, bring it on. It want everyone to close the eyes for big reveal. Okay, right, everyone close your eyes for the big reveal. Don't ruin this, girls, close okay, your don't eyes. don't show him till he's on stage. We are ready. It's a very big. Okay. You can open your eyes now. Okay. It's a very strong, it's, so, it's carrying me on his back. And it has banana, it's offering banana to you. No. No. Fudge. Fudge. No. That is not a real monkey. That is not a real banana, is it? And these are not your legs. Ouch. Get, ouch. Get off the stage. I'll give you ouch. Right, we need something else. It's time for another act. Where's the unicyclist? Get him on. Have the bloody unicycle act. Swearing, apologies for that. Hopefully that gets censored by them. Graham, we've got the unicycle, but we don't have the, the guy That's who fine. rides it. That's fine, we don't need the guy that rides it. I'm the guy that rides it. Bring it on. Graham, I, bring I, the I damn don't thing. think you should try. I don't care what you think, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, for your pleasure, I will now be performing for you the unicycle act. Can I have a volunteer? No one's here. Yes, they are here. Hello, Yong. Right, okay, this is good. You'll like this, you'll like this. Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is grab the unicycle and jump over this arsehole. Yep, very good. Right, okay. Start the music. Drum roll, please. It's going to be good, Yong. Protect your face, baby. Okay, and here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my arm. Oh, God. Okay, okay, that, that's not it. Okay, well, that's the act, I think. Ow, I don't think I can do that again. Um, that's the act. I suppose that's what happens if you pay peanuts. Uh, you, ow, you get monkeys. Well, don't you know, you don't always get monkeys, do you? Sometimes you just get someone wearing half a monkey costume where it looks like their legs are the monkey's legs, which apparently is just as good. So, um, so great, okay, so we need another act, don't we? We need somebody else on here doing something. Do we have the strong man? That's what it says on the auto cue, the strong man. Yay, Raj! Raj is amazing, I love him. I'm sorry, I don't want to be in the way of this. It's Raj, isn't it again? And he's doing that. Is that good? Is that entertaining? He's done what you want. Raj doing that, laughing. Is this going to save a child's life? And speaking of saving a child's life, are we doing that? Has any more money been raised? How much more money's been raised? It's actually gone down a bit. People are asking for the money back, and I think you're scaring them. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Come on, do what you're getting paid to update the score. Come on, put it down. Great. So the money pops down, and still less money. So even more to raise for the girl in the next five minutes. Brilliant. Right, what we need is to do a get-rich-quick scheme. Who's got some ideas? Ah, oh, I've got an idea. Just had it. Looking at these ladies, lovely. I know what, let's set up a little kissing booth. Nice little table, nice little cloth, little bit of lipstick. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sounds good to me. Tenor a pop, right? I'm sure these lads would like it. They've been ogling them all evening, the perverts. That sounds good to me, right. So, how much for a kiss, ladies? No, Graham, you're bleeding. Just, uh, don't be such a tease. Go on, Linda, puck it up, darling. Thank you, Linda. I needed that. OK, well, that has gone wrong. That has gone awry. I'm sorry if that's my fault in any way. I don't know if it is. I've got my... I think I know whose fault that might be. But there we go. What a shame. What a shame. I'll level with you. 
Uh, it's, it's looking unlikely we're going to make money. Haven't got long left. It looks like that might be the end for little Sally. It is actually Susie. Whatever. She'll be dead soon. And so will my career. So, uh, so two deaths in the same evening. And if you ask me, it'd be hard to weigh them. They're both equally sad deaths. Oh, well, well, that's the end of that. Uh, I suppose that's the end of the show, then. Uh, thank you very much. Graham! Graham! Great news. The monkey's turned up. Yeah, it's not the monkey, is it? It's just Raj or something pissing yeah, around. No, it is a real monkey. Look, I haven't got time for this. It's obviously it's not a real monkey. Don't get my hopes up. It's not going to... Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh my god! That is a real monkey. Yes! There it is! Get away from it! There it is! Ah! It's a real monkey! Now we can do the dance and save the show! Save my career! The girl! Come on! Just do the dance! Don't scratch your head, do the dance! Come on, do the dance. Come on, do the dance. Don't slaughter me. Do the dance there. Oh, I have to spell everything out to you. Put your arm in. Oh, crap. No, no, oh, he's punching God. me. Somebody shoot oh, it. Somebody shoot it. Ow! Oh, Kill it. Ah! Enough. Stop. I've had enough. I'm the producer. I'm in charge. I want everyone to stop and listen to me. We've forgotten what's important here. A little girl's life's on the line. We're all acting like children. Listen up, do as you're told. Linda, Deborah, Barbara and Raj, get on the phones. We've still got enough time to get some donations, but we need all hands on deck. Uh, Young, I know you don't understand what I'm saying, but we will get you to a hospital as soon as the show is finished. Just hang in a little bit longer, OK? Yeah, that's fine. And you? Mr. Bannon, people used to look up to you as the face of national television. Look at you now, eh? You're full of crap. You better pull yourself together, son. Cos chimps, chimps don't dance for bastards. We're all here, working together as a team to try and save somebody's life. Apologise to him and ask him nicely to finish the show. <sighs> Chimpanzee, please, will you do your little dance to save the life of young Susie? Oh, there we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, the little girl's life is on the line, and I've got just the job for you. Please donate to this worthwhile cause. We, we really can do some good here. It's like me old mam used to say. You can keep your money in your pocket, but people will call you a stingy cunt. <laughs> uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Peter Clement, television producer, here to tell you that if we work together as a team, anything's possible. And that is a Peter Clement promise. Thank you and good night. Take it away! <laughs> And two ads. Down the... We did it! We did it! What a Turns glorious out, day. The, team, the country you... at its finest. Beating sun, wonderful fresh air, and Graham Bannon.
Why, look, folks. It's television's Graham Bannon, and he's taking the brand new Mega MK7 convertible out for a spin. How's the ride, Graham? I'm glad I saved this one for last. Onlookers can't look away, but it's not because of the brand new Mega MK7 convertible. It's because of Graham's pearly whites. You see, Graham Bannon brushes with Whitey's Dental Cream, which makes his already very white teeth even whiter. Now, some of you may not have heard of Dental Cream. Why, you may think it's something you put into an ice cream float. But you'd be wrong. Dental Cream is the smart alternative to regular toothpaste. For those who prefer their mouths not to stink like a donkey's so what are you waiting for? Whitey's Dental Cream. Creaming in your mouth since 1939. Oh, that, that's, that's a hell of a way to end the show on that. Marvelous. Okay, bit of a shaky start, but we did recover very, very nicely. In the end, A+, plus, A+, plus, A overall, love it. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, was the telethon, which, oh, I just love this stuff. All right, I know humour is very subjective, but this just works for me. That kind of blend of anarchic and surrealist and a bit of slapstick and sometimes very, very dark indeed, this just really works for me. It kind of feels like, you know, something Chris Morris would put together if he was to make games. I love it. This is great. Episode 2 coming apparently very, very soon indeed. So uh, watch this space for that. As soon as that comes out, oh yeah, we'll be giving that a look-see. This is well worth a look. If you get not for broadcast, you get all the coming episodes for free as well. They're all being done as free updates. So, uh, oh yeah, this is... Uh, this is just the flipping thing. Well worth a look -see. Gonna be one of my games of the year. Hilarious, interesting, unique. I cannot sing this game's praises more highly. This is some good stuff and uh, I suspect it's gonna go to some very dark places by the end of the main story. So... Uh, Oh, this is, uh, this is very literally one to watch, ladies and gentlemen. More coming up as soon as I can bring it to you. But in the meantime, I'm Ibi Johnson. There's been many a true nerd, and this has been Not For Broadcast. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weeklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh god, Germany, not again!